Here in this residential neighborhood, we've installed a camera in this ordinary bird feeder to capture the actions of these birds as they enjoy the seed. This fellow, however, is not a fan of the camera in its bird feeder. As many as three or even four birds at a time can be seen enjoying these free meals. But now there is a new visitor to this bird feeder. It's Jason Stokes. He appears to have some seed around his head. This bird checks him out and quickly flies away. This bird seems to ignore Stokes and just goes for the seed in front of him. And another bird also ignores Stokes. After a while, they've had enough of him and go off to find other adventures. This brave little fellow decides it's going to sample some of the seed around Stokes' head. And in so doing, knocks him over. He now covers half of the seed. This bird is undeterred and merely steps on Stokes. The following day, Stokes is upright again and apparently surrounded by even more seed. Again, the birds merely ignore him and go about their meal. Much later, after most of the seed is gone, this bird attempts to get seed from Stokes, but knocks him over again. Now, being the only remaining seed in the feeder, this bird is much more bold about taking seed from on and around Stokes. Until my wife tells my son to go fill the bird feeder, and he does so oblivious to Stokes. And in so doing, he knocks over the camera. I got some mail. Let's open it. This one is from Summit Credit Union. Let's see what they're sending me today. Oh, it's my visa bill. I guess I better pay that. Huh, that's interesting. We got this from the National Speech and Debate Association. Now they, since, oh, this one, since I've been virtual all year, they just send stuff to my home instead of to my school. Kind of odd for them to be sending me stuff in the summer, but I have a feeling it's my most recent interactions with them. Oh yes. These are the ribbons that competitors in the National Speech and Debate Tournament wear. So they've sent them to me to distribute to my students. And here are all the certificates they get. Get those to those young people very soon. And then I got this one. This one addressed to Juano Rademacher, and it says it's from Steve Rademacher. All right. And it says on it, can you see that? We'll get a close-up of that. It says, do not bend or ignite. Do not bend or ignite. Now, if you think about it, he probably meant to say, do not bend nor ignite, which would mean I shouldn't do either one. But the way it's written, do not bend or ignite. So I guess I have a choice. Either I not bend or I ignite. Given those two options, I think it would be more fun to ignite. I guess that means I have to not bend then. No, I have to bend it. Yes. So, I'll bend it. There we go. And now we'll ignite it. I've come outside to the fire pit because I learned as a child it's not really safe to ignite things indoors. And since I did bend, now I have to ignite.
Didn't really say what else I should do once I ignite it. I should just let it go. It's kind of a waste of a nice padded envelope. See what's what's in here. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, let's see what's deep sent. So let's take a look at this stuff. Get some of that soot up there. So right on the top, we got California Dreamin'. All right, a koala card. Very nice. How do you like that? Yeah, good stuff. All right, and then the Disney Store collectible trading cards. Right on. Hey, all right. So that's how you open your mail. Thanks, Steve. Overall experience, I would say five out of 10. Here's Jason Stokes after three days in the bird feeder and as you can see just like most of the major league the birds had no interest in him. So since the 4th of July is coming up I thought we'd introduce him to some fireworks. I don't want to make a big mess on the table so we'll get some little advertisements from the newspaper here. Yeah, yeah. make a mess and Get our rubber cement. And see, he's got a lot of bird seeds still on him. So let's just get a bunch of that off. Ew, nasty. Birds would like it better now, me. Okay. Pull that off of there. And we're going to take our rubber cement. Get that all over. All over him back here. Yeah, we'll put some on the fireworks. Got some black cat firecrackers here. Got that one to fuse. Not much of a fuse there. One of that facing up on his back, just like that. And there it is. So we'll see how. Jason Stokes does with the Black Cat Firecrackers. Now with Jason Stokes attached to the Black Cat Firecrackers, let's see what happens. Either way, it was a lot of fun to do this, and if you're interested in more videos like this, comment below and let me know what else you want to see. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to ring that bell to see what else I'm up to. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. I'm here. Hello.
Hello?